Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars, but with a twist. A blast from the past with Walk Back Wednesday. Let's do it. Our first post is by Latino Guy. TV and TV stand free. Not for free. So I'm not entitled to have a free TV because I do not drive? Shaking my head. And I got be charged delivery for something that's free? Shaking my head. Ever since Trump got in the White House, you people have been confused. I'm not driving an hour one way to give you something for free. It ain't my fault you can't fucking drive. You fucking loser. I'll throw it out before I deliver it for free. These are just the beggars I don't understand. They can get a free TV and they're willing to just pass it up because they want free delivery on top of it. This next one is by Hozone Layer. I'm hungry and mom has nothing. So, go to the store. The pasta is blank, not mine, and it only serves two people. I'm broke. Oh. So are we. You also got a check. I haven't. Yeah, I also have bills. You don't. That check was $200 and not even enough for my car payment. I'm also not selling pictures or have sugar daddies. Sorry? Sounds like a personal problem. The fact that they're saying they're not selling pictures or have sugar daddies is basically implying to me that they're clearly not attractive enough to sell pictures or have a sugar daddy. Or they just haven't tried to put in the effort, which, let's face it, they probably want the sugar daddy to come to them. This next one is by Awesomer76. Need Xbox Live? I just ran out of Xbox Live and don't really have money to spend on that right now. Does anyone know where I can get it for cheap or is someone willing to game share live with me? No one will game share with you. Sending online strangers your login information is a colossally poor decision. Right here. And I expected to be Rickrolled. Ah, the good old Rickroll. It's been a long time since that's been just all over and everybody was getting Rickrolled. <laughs> Funny how that died out like the meme faces I use. This next one is by Lexi Donny. AT&T offers three months free of first net service to nurses and physicians. Cue the, why can't I get this for free too, folks. I count as a nurse. I'm one of the many that care for three young boys. <laughs> Oh, does that mean because I care for a one young boy, I'm a nurse as well? No, it doesn't work like that. Unless you're in the medical profession and you're actually assisting and have went to nursing school, then you can say you're a nurse. This next one is by HeckMP2, telling my cousin how much I'd charge for a painting. About $20 to $30, depending on the size. <sighs> $20? That's so much for a simplistic painting. I could make that myself for cheaper. So make it your fucking self. I'm pretty sure that's where a lot of these artists are at right now, with all of the beggars just out and doing what they do best, begging people for free things or cheap things, then turning around claiming they could get it for cheaper or do it themselves. This next one is by Zach995. So, I got kicked out and like, I need a room to rent and my man Blank has to be able to like pretty much live with me too. But we come as one whole heart, no more than $500 and I cannot get another damage deposit. It's already got like two and a half and fuck them both up. <laughs> anyway, yeah, room rental needed ASAP, preferably north side. You sound like a walking train wreck, and the fact that you say you've already messed up like two and a half damage deposits, why would somebody else give you one that's no more than $500? Explain that to me. This next one is by mgrove36. Anyone with free dogs that have puppies? I want one. For free though, cause I'm doing you a favor. And anyone else? How are you doing them a favor by taking a dog? Honestly, they can find other people that would happily take the dog. And another bunch of people that would happily take the dog and also pay for it. This next one is by, here's a tip. House Democrats introduced plan to pay Americans $2,000 a month until the economy recovers from COVID-19. I hope this shit passes. Get your taxes done. I got my $1,200 this morning. 
in check form or deposit, and I don't know how to do them. 26 bucks? I got it direct deposited. Nah, it was 1200 <laughs> I'm saying 26 bucks to do mine. Er, <laughs> I know. $50 per year. Wow, what a friend deal. It actually is. Let me know if you find someone to do it for less. Okay. Fun fact, beggar. You're not going to find somebody to do it for less unless they're going to end up doing it just for the money and probably do it wrong. This next one is by Sloppy Toppy Down South. Sam's Club to launch Hero Hours for healthcare workers and first responders. How about allowing all healthcare workers to shop for free at Sam's for two hours? That's if you truly want to help them. Setting aside two hours on Sunday when they're sacrificing their lives 14 to 18 hour every day to save us is a slap in the face. The fact that they're giving them special dedicated time to shop without anybody else I'd say is very nice, very generous, and something they don't have to do. Unfortunately, that's not satisfactory to you beggar, so what you should do is instead of saying something, just move on. This next one is by WAC86, $899, 210 Honda Elite, 300 bucks, 1300 bucks, 300 just for you, 2000 Well, that was short, quick, and to the point. My question is, is if they did bite at that 300 would the beggar try to reduce it? This next one is by Just Mowing Lawns. Sony is giving away some free PlayStation 4 games starting on April 15th. Cool gesture. Wish they would have given us more options to choose from. New to me, and thank you. At least that second comment is positive. People can be grateful, while me, being a PlayStation 4 owner, could be a little irritated they released the Nathan Drake collection again because I already got that on PS Plus. I'm still happy for the people that didn't get a chance to get it. And our final post is by Bruh. 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 Hey, I came across you after this guy I followed retweeted one of your videos on here. Can you help me lose some weight? I've been eating nothing but shit for the past month or so and I want to get back on track. If you want some info about me, I'm a 36 year old receptionist from Minnesota. Since my job isn't very active, I'm sitting around all day. Right now I'm up to 235 pounds, give or take a few. Since this whole pandemic kicked off, I've been out of work and I'd like to get some exercise done. I think your price is 50 euros is more than fair for the fitness plan you offer and I'd be glad to take you up on that offer. Absolutely. Seeing as you got most of the important details I needed straight out of the way, I can get started on the plan right away. You want a diet and exercise plan, right? Just let me know if you have any other goals or information other than that and I can get started on it right away. Yup, get started as soon as you can. That's great. My PayPal is here at gmail.com. The total amount is 50 euros. Um, I don't actually have PayPal, so I can't pay you on that. I'll try to pay you some other way. Okay, I don't have any physical money right now, but I have 11 Costco vouchers that could give you a total of $62.50 off selected goods. I could mail them to you. I don't know if you're joking or not. We don't even have Costco's here. I'm literally giving you more than the asking price, man. I need to lose some weight and you still won't give me this? I really need this, man. I'm sorry, but I can't do this, especially when it's in a currency I can't spend. If you were a true fitness consultant, you'd actually care about your client's health and well-being. I see you're only in it for the money. Shame on you. I mean, I need to pay bills somehow. And there it is right there, beggar. People need to pay their bills. We can't pay bills if we're working for free. And most people don't want to work for free. They don't want to provide services for free. And I guarantee you would be the same way. You would want payment. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Have a great day and stay safe out there.